This might be the most overlooked truth in our solar system. For decades, Mars was just a cold, rust-colored wasteland. Dead, silent, empty. But recent discoveries are changing everything. Elon Musk sees it not as a dream, but as a destiny. And NASA's latest data shows why he might be right. From strange streaks flowing with salty liquid to possible underground lakes warmed by geothermal heat, the red planet hides secrets beneath its dry skin. And now, for the first time, seismic waves have pierced its crust, echoes of something alive or something lost. What exactly is Mars hiding beneath all that silence? A lifeless planet that once had lakes. Mars wasn't always a frozen desert. In fact, signs of ancient rivers, lakes, and even possible oceans are etched into its surface. Winding channels, dry deltas, and layered sediments whisper of a time when water shaped the land. Billions of years ago, the red planet may have looked blue, but something went wrong. Mars once had a thick atmosphere and a protective magnetic field, just like Earth. This shield kept the solar wind at bay, allowing liquid water to flow freely. Then, inexplicably, that magnetic field vanished. With no protection, solar radiation began tearing Mars apart, ripping away its atmosphere drop by drop over millions of years. Without pressure or warmth, the water evaporated or froze. Winds scoured the surface into a barren wasteland. What remained were scars, cracked valleys, crater lakes, and minerals formed only in the presence of water. NASA's orbiters have captured all of it in stunning detail. So when Elon Musk looks at Mars, he doesn't just see red rock, he sees potential. Because if water was there once, something else might have been too. And maybe, deep down, still is. Strange streaks and liquid salt water. They appear like shadows, then vanish. Dark streaks slither down Martian slopes, returning each year like clockwork. NASA calls them recurring slope lineae. Their presence baffled scientists until they noticed a pattern. These streaks only showed up when temperatures hovered above 10 degrees Fahrenheit and disappeared when the cold returned. That meant something was flowing. But what? Not pure water. It would freeze instantly in Mars's thin atmosphere. The answer, it turns out, may be salt. Salts lower the freezing point of water dramatically, allowing briny liquid to persist even in harsh Martian conditions. Instruments aboard NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter detected hydrated minerals in these regions. That's a fancy way of saying, this water is real and it's wet. The discovery changed everything. It meant Mars isn't just a planet that used to have water. It might still have some now, just beneath the surface. And where there's liquid water, there's always the possibility of life. Elon Musk called it a major moment. Because if nature already delivers salty water to Mars's surface seasonally, then survival there may not be science fiction. It might just require the right suit and timing. Beneath the ice, the South Pole's hidden lake. Mars may be hiding something beneath its icy skin. At the Southern Pole, a vast sheet of ice stretches across the landscape, once thought to be completely frozen, inert, and lifeless. But in 2018, radar data from the European Space Agency's Mars Express told a different story. Beneath that frozen surface, something strange was happening. Scientists noticed subtle ripples and disturbances on the ice cap's surface. After months of analysis, the evidence pointed to a stunning possibility. Liquid water. A subglacial lake, like those buried deep under Antarctica, may lie trapped beneath the Martian ice. The lake could stretch for dozens of kilometers, kept in a liquid state not by surface heat, but by geothermal energy rising from the planet's core. It mirrors subglacial lakes on Earth, dark and cold, but teeming with microbial life. If confirmed, this would be the first stable body of liquid water ever detected on another planet. Elon Musk called it a roadmap in disguise. Because if geothermal activity exists under Mars's surface, it could be used to warm shelters, grow food, and sustain human life. Beneath the ice, Mars might already be preparing to host its next visitors. 
Breathing on Mars? Dissolved Oxygen and Life Oxygen on Mars was once thought to be too scarce for life. But scientists found that cold, briny pockets near the poles might hold enough dissolved oxygen to support microbes or even primitive animals like sponges. When water contains salt, it can stay liquid at much lower temperatures, and cold temperatures help it absorb oxygen. This unusual combination means Mars might have isolated pockets of breathable brine. The Curiosity rover added more intrigue by detecting magnesium oxide, a mineral that only forms with the help of oxygen. On Earth, these minerals appeared after oxygen became common in the atmosphere. While not proof of life, it shows Mars once had the right chemistry. Elon Musk believes this kind of discovery strengthens the case for future missions, and perhaps even colonization. If we can find stable, oxygen-rich environments, Mars might not just support machines. It might support biology, not just in the past, but under the right conditions, maybe in the near future too. The Perseverance rover's ancient lake bed clues. Jezero Crater holds the best clues Mars has ever offered. This 45-kilometer-wide basin was once a lake, fed by a winding river that formed a large delta. NASA's Perseverance rover is now exploring this site, searching for ancient life. Its mission? Gather rock samples from sedimentary layers built by water over billions of years. These rocks could hold organic molecules, tiny carbon-based hints that life once existed. On Earth, similar environments have preserved bacteria and fossils for eons. If Mars followed a similar path, Jezero is the place we'll find proof. Elon Musk calls this crater the most important dig site in the solar system. Because what Perseverance finds or doesn't find could determine how we view our place in the universe. If life once grew in this Martian lake, we're not alone. And if it didn't, it still tells us how life begins or fails. Either way, Jezero is Mars's message in a bottle, buried in stone, waiting to be opened. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Dust storms and Martian weather extremes. Mars may be quiet, but its weather is fierce. With an atmosphere less than 1% as dense as Earth's, it can still whip up global dust storms that last for weeks. These storms blanket the planet, block sunlight, and disable solar-powered rovers. NASA's Ingenuity helicopter was once grounded by one near Jezero crater, delaying its historic flight. Dust on Mars is more than a nuisance. It's electrically charged, fine as smoke, and sticks to everything. Add to that carbon dioxide snow at the poles and temperatures ranging from 195 degrees to 10 degrees, and Mars becomes a land of extremes. Seasons last longer because of the planet's elongated orbit, leading to harsh winters and short summers. Elon Musk says that understanding Mars weather isn't optional, it's survival. Because to live there, you don't just need oxygen or shelter. You need to beat the dust, the cold, and the silence that sweeps in without warning. Mars won't make it easy, but it never has. Mars Missing Magnetic Shield Long ago, Mars at Dibne had a magnetic field just like Earth's. It protected the atmosphere and helped the planet stay warm enough for water. Then it disappeared. Without it, Mars was exposed. The sun's radiation began stripping away the atmosphere molecule by molecule. Over time, the water vanished and temperatures dropped. Scientists believe the core of Mars once churned with molten iron, generating a magnetic field. But as the interior cooled and solidified, those currents slowed and the shield collapsed. NASA's InSight mission and Martian meteorites helped confirm this theory. Elon Musk sees this moment in Mars's history as a turning point. Without a magnetosphere, even Earth could suffer a similar fate one day. That's why understanding what killed Mars is crucial. It shows how fragile planetary habitability can be. And it offers a warning wrapped in red dust. Survival isn't guaranteed. But maybe through science, exploration, and bold engineering, we can find a way to bring the shield back, or at least learn to live without it.
Meteor Strike on Christmas Eve A Seismic Revelation On Christmas Eve, a meteor struck Mars and shook the planet, literally. The rock, between 4 and 12 meters wide, hit with the force of a bomb. It left a crater, but more importantly, it sent shockwaves through the Martian crust. NASA's InSight lander picked up the seismic waves, the first ever traced directly to a surface impact. These waves acted like sonar, revealing details about Mars' interior, its layers, densities, and boundaries. The event gave scientists a deeper understanding of the planet's structure, challenging old theories about its northern and southern hemispheres. Most craters are in the south, where Mars' tallest volcano also sits. But now we know the crust might be more uniform than expected. Elon Musk called it a cosmic X-ray. Accidental, powerful, and incredibly informative. This impact showed that even random events can unlock secrets buried for billions of years. Sometimes a single collision can echo across a planet and into our understanding of its past. Mars is no longer silent. Beneath its frozen surface in salt-lined streaks and hidden lakes, signs of change are everywhere. From ancient minerals shaped by oxygen to shock waves rippling through its core, the red planet is revealing itself piece by piece. NASA sees a story buried in its rocks. Elon Musk sees a future rising from its dust. Mars may have lost its magnetism, its warmth, and its air, but not its potential. The question isn't whether life ever existed there. The real question is, are we the ones meant to bring it back? Let us know what you believe in the comments.